of you, God, mega apoli, we live a future in my heart. Then a hand clap. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Melanie with Chase Construction, Northwest Inc. We went on a trip to Uganda. We were able to go to the Boozy Community Center and provide them much needed material for their project there. So they had part of the building done, but they didn't. It's just a dirt floor, it's the red dirt floor, and nothing inside this shell of a building. There's not even sides, no sidewalls, nothing. No roof on the end of it. They still needed part of a roof. This is worship, man. <laughs> what do you think? Yes. The day that we went to get materials for the community center, we drove around quite a few places and we're looking for the best price, of course. We came across this beautiful young lady that, there that owned this lumber yard and she gave us a great price. She was so awesome. And I just wanna say, they don't dress like we do. I'm gonna wear jeans, a shirt, maybe a jacket. This owner of the lumber yard is wearing a beautiful chiffon blouse with a skirt and little heels. And she was beautiful, absolutely just beautiful woman. Another thing about Uganda, where we were at, there's, there's hardly any big equipment. So if you want a load of brick, you're gonna have four or five guys loading the brick into that truck. You're not gonna have somebody pick up a pallet of bricks for you with a forklift and load it in your truck like normal. That's not gonna happen. So it's gonna take longer for you to get your brick because it, it has to be hand loaded. Up front, we went up there and we built their stage for them. We put in the bricks and concrete. We had masons there to help us out. So all of us are there. Even the women were doing a brick line. There was like five of us girls, I think, and we we take the bricks and we just like hand it over to the next woman. On up and we'd start building a wall. We built some retaining walls on the side of the building. We were also able to get lots of brick and sand and concrete for them so they could um, continue to work when we were gone. And they have done a lot of things even after we've been gone. So we just can't wait to see everything, everything finished. It was awesome. The people at the community center were so happy and we're happy too. So they're happy, we're happy. 
and it's looking good. We drove for hours and hours. Up to the Sudan border. And there was a refugee camp there. In one and a half days, we put on a medical clinic there where we had a couple doctors and we had nurses and we had brought in a lot of medical supplies to help at the camp. So we were able to see over 300 people there. They were in need, they were in a lot of need of just even just a little basic medicine, even aspirin and that. We would give them I think we had toothbrushes and toothpaste. We had clothes, we had everything that, just special things for them. And um, they appreciated it and they were just uh, sweet. And another hit was uh, the American football. And then Joel got the football and he was throwing it to the older kids, so the teenagers. They'd never even seen a football before. We were with the group and they brought this, one of the gals brought soccer balls. I'm telling you what, the soccer balls were like gold. We were able to give them um, soccer balls for their teams and everything and that was just a really big joy for them. And I'll tell you what, the kids there at the refugee camp are so sweet. And I just loved them. They were darling, darling, darling sweet. So one day Joel went out to their school. He was invited to go out at the refugee camp to the school and just uh, have a little talk with them, like an encouragement talk. I believe there was almost 1,500 students in the school. And I believe the classrooms, this is the number of kids in each classroom, about 350. And Joel saw these children. They were quiet and they behaved. They were just like, they were great. They were awesome. I just want to let you all know that if you want to do anything good for your neighbor, for somebody in the next state, for somebody in the next country, on the other side of the ocean, the world, do it. Just go and do it. You can help your neighbor. You can feed somebody. You can clothe somebody. You can give somebody a hug. Okay? And a smile is always really nice. So anyway, just do it and you'll feel good. And you know what? They're going to feel good. And that's the important thing. All right. Have a good day. See ya.